So another way that we can create volumes is using Server Manager. And that's here under File and Storage Services. So I have my servers, volumes, disks, uh, storage pools, shares, iSCSI. We'll deal with some of these things uh, a little bit later on. So if I click on volumes, it's going to show me all the volumes I have on my system. So C drive, fixed size, provision volume, this is how much I'm using. So this will show me the disks that I have available. Now I've already initialized these two disks in Device Manager. Had I not, then I would have had to initialize them here. Same thing, pretty straightforward. Storage pools we're going to look at a little bit later on. So I'm going to go to my volumes and or my I can't think for the moment. I want to create a new volume. So I'm going to go to Volumes, Tasks, and create a new volume. This also gives me the option to rescan. Um, down here it shows me any shares that are on this volume. So pretty straightforward. So I'm going to click on New Volume. And this is going to walk me through a new volume wizard. I'm going to click Next, identify the server that I want this to happen on. Remember, Server Manager is designed for you to manage multiple servers, so I could pick another one. Pick which disk I want the volume on. Click Next. The size, I want to make this 80 gigabytes. And here I can choose megabytes or gigabytes or terabytes. So I'm going to do 80 gigabytes. I can assign a drive letter or mount it just like we looked at in um, working with disk management, or choose not to. File system, I can choose NTFS. I can choose my allocation units, my volume label, and this is going to be SM for server manager. Generate short file names, really don't recommend using that, but some 16-bit applications running on older clients need that. So if you have to, that's how you can do it. And then create. And it starts creating our volume. Now you'll notice that it didn't give us the same options. In disk management, I could do spanned and mirrored and uh, striped and all of these things. This only lets me create simple volumes. That's my only option. And it's not actually terrible because a lot of those other types of volumes that we used to do in disk management, we now do using storage pools, or we can do using storage pools. So that's going to be a topic that we tackle in another video. Now let me show you how to get rid of it. On my volumes now, I have my E drive, and I can right click and format, extend, or delete the volume. It'll also let me manage drive letters. Scan for errors. Pretty nice. So I'm going to delete the volume. And that takes it out of there. Okay, so that is how we create and then manage and delete volumes using Server Manager.